Microphone check. One, two, one, two. What's good, people? What's good? What's good? What's good? It's your boy, the one and only, Lawrence Coles. And I'm here with the lovely Vanessa. Yes, we are here. We want to welcome you to our new program entitled, at this point, To Be Determined. <laughs> the name of the show is called At This Point. At uh, this to point, be determined. Um, in this time. In this in this season. Our um, season. Yes. So, uh, how you feeling? I feel good. It's good. It's good. It's good. You know, no complaints. No complaints. Well, I mean, I could. But who would listen? We got a thousand people listening right now. That's true. That's true. A thousand people. Well, first of all, no, Uh, uh, I'm joking. No, I feel good. How you doing? I feel good too. I feel good. I feel great. Um, Feel good today. So, um, day after Thanksgiving. Mm. And so, um, you know, as we're hopping on. You know, we just want to invite you guys into, you know, we have some interesting conversations, interesting debates, interesting uh, <sighs> enlightenments, delightments, I don't know, right? And so we want to we want to invite you guys into some of our conversations and things that we talk about randomly, you know, some thoughts, some conversations are very calculated. Um, <laughs> this is this might be one of those random conversations and so um never know what you're gonna get never know what you're gonna get you know what i mean and so our topic today what's our topic today vanessa um i think we were discussing has thanksgiving changed Mm, has i was peeking right there maybe i had to move back from the mic has thanksgiving changed what do you think about that question has thanksgiving changed like what do you think off rip, just freestyle a toy. I mean, I don't know what you think. Yes, it yes. has. Yes, it has. What do you think? Um, I think we both agree. I wish I had a a, a ding ding sound like a um, the um. Do I have a sound that could be like an agreement sound? Mm. Not nah, ain't it, but yeah. <laughs> I do agree. I do agree with you. Thanksgiving has changed, but let's talk about it. Like, like, let's think about it. Like, yo, from a child until now, right? You know, obviously Thanksgiving has been around. I mean, as long as I've been alive, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, like, the question is, like, from a child until now, you know what I'm saying? Like, how how has Thanksgiving changed? Like, what do you think? Well. I think in the aspect of knowing that you're going to have a whole lot of food to eat and you're going to socialize with family and friends, um, I think in that regard, it hasn't changed, Mm -hmm. right? Right. Um. As a child, I just remember, you know, my mom doing all the cooking, you know. Shout out to moms. Yes. And, um, or we would, you know, venture out to our cousins, you know, my aunts and uncles. Mm. We'll all just kind of hang out at somebody's house. Yeah. And um, it would be something like a potluck or whatever. People bringing food, you know. Right, right. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it as a child, you know, and I do recall like the fact that our Sunday dinners were like Thanksgiving, to be Mm, honest, you know, mm. um, many Sundays we just had dinner together, you know, it wasn't something, you know, um, strange to do that. And, um, so Thanksgiving, it was just the same thing. You know, but what um, what was the what about that spread though? You know what I'm saying? Like the, the Thanksgiving spread is a is very elaborate. You so right, you so right. So y'all had y'all it had was more. Okay. Yeah, it was more, and um, I think 
for me I, I always say that I have the the pleasure of having the best of two worlds okay. in the sense of cuisines because my mom is Jamaican Booyaka. so what so <laughs> I'm sorry <I> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry like I had, was, you know I'm sorry. My bad. Big up, right? Yes. So, um, anyway, so she would, you know, have the Jamaican cuisines and also the American cuisines. So, mm. you know, it was it was a, it was a good time. It was a really good time. Um, my my brothers and I always look forward to you know being with our cousins. It was just a lot of fun, and um, I would just say that you know. Um, me personally, uh, I was never very active in the kitchen. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, I would actively watch. Okay. You know, as my mom was making dishes or you know cooking, or my grandmother. But yeah, I never really kind of took part in the the cooking area. Mm. So, and I was okay. Okay. <laughs> listen. I, listen, I, listen. <laughs> Me, me neither. But, Guess what? Me neither. <laughs> but I will say, a child until now, it has changed. Mm. In that, I am now active in the kitchen, mm. actively, you know, cooking the dishes. So, yes. You know, what about you though? What happened? Yeah, as a child to now, has it changed? Has it changed a child, child to now? I mean, I, I think just like you outlined, some of those same things are things that, you know, we had going on. You know what I mean? Like, Thanksgiving was about the family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our family situation was very unique in that, you know, both my, my grandparents lived literally across the street from each other. Um, so... You know, we was doing, uh, we, we getting two for one mm -hmm. every Thanksgiving. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It wasn't about driving to the other side of town and doing whatever. And then all my, most of my cousins lived on the same block. So, you know what I mean? My grandmother's house was huge. So, every, you know, so it was just like, it was two for one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was always epic. It was always a big deal. You know what I mean? Just because it was both my dad's family and then my mom's family. And, uh, you know, anybody who know know us and know my mom's family, you already know it's, it's, it's turned up over there. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, literally, it was like my grand, my dad's mother's house was like church because everything was calm and collected. And then my <laughs> grandmother's house across the street was like the after party. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, we, you know, we turning up. It's cousins. It's, it, it's my aunts. It's getting in trouble. It's like it's just it's, just, it's very elaborate, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, so like you we, getting in trouble? Um, probably, yeah. probably the most, probably the most. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm the oldest, so you know I would get blamed for stuff or just That's randomly. So hard to believe. Yeah, yeah. I, who you telling? You know what I mean? I, the things I had to go through, but um, and I'm gonna tell it all too. You it's know made I mean? you I'm stronger. Not afraid to to name names, you know. It's Tasha. made you stronger. But um. But yeah, but but yeah, just um, you know, I think that I feel like as a child, Thanksgiving was like more epic. You know what I mean? Like it was a bigger deal. You know what I mean? As a child, because of those different elements. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of like getting really dressed up. You know what I'm saying? Me and my brother and sister, we might have the same type of sweaters on or just the outfit. Like we're coming in looking like. You know, uh, a, a, a singing group. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like, it's no like we, we're coming in like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think it has changed. Again, I would say as a child, it was more epic, like almost like a go-to thing. Whereas, as you described, as an adult, it's more of a like kind of hosting thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or like. You know how is this going? You know it's more planning involved, right? You know I, mean? I was thinking of the preparation, yeah, because the preparation going into Thanksgiving as a child is wash your hands, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, fix your shirt, right? All right, I didn't buy that shirt for it to be looking like that. All right, fix your shirt, right? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so yeah, all right. So listen, we're we gonna get back into it. We, we, we're gonna talk more about uh, the subject about how Thanksgiving has changed some of the feelings associated with it. But we're gonna get into um, a quick a quick track right now. This track is called Chains, right? All things change, right? So you gotta be ready for change. All right, mm-hmm. it's by Kadidia. Let's check. <laughs> One, two, one, two. We are back. We are back. We are back. That track was called Change. I'm ready for change. I'm ready for some spare change. Nah, but um, I'm ready for change. All right, yo. So let me ask you this, right? We kind of touched on that topic, but let me ask you this. Uh, it turns out like the feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like... Does Thanksgiving feel the same, or or, ha- or have your feelings changed as it relates to Thanksgiving? Like obviously, we, we talked about you know as a, as a child how it felt, you know, mm-hmm. the responsibility. As you know, obviously as an adult, there's more responsibility associated with Thanksgiving than we had as as children. Mm-hmm. But in terms of the feeling, you know what I mean? Like, has the feeling changed? Like, talk to me about that from your perspective about the feeling. I think the feeling has changed um, for me because um, I guess I look at it as the experiences okay. that I've gone through. Um, Thanksgiving has more meaning, mm. you know. Um, I'm just more. I'm just grateful. Um, I'm just thankful for where um, God has brought me from. Mm. And um, and in terms of the song that was just playing change, you know, um, he's changed me. Um, mm. I've seen changes in my family. I've seen changes and good changes, you know. Um, so I think just in retrospect the meaning you know for me um in regards to thanksgiving has has been just (laughs) sorry getting lost in my thoughts just sorry just okay okay. you know but it's just i don't know just getting lost in the feeling that's okay right just um i don't know just there's more insight just i just it's humbling i would mm. say it's just humbling you know just to be able to you know be to sit around a table with your your family you know it's not something that you take for granted anymore mm. you know it's like there's a lot of people who aren't here you mm. know um for whatever reason you know um loss whatever it is you know and um so yeah, it's just yeah. I, I I don't I don't know what else to say. But like, what do what do you think? Do you think that um it has the same feeling for you? <clears throat> uh, that's a good question. Um, does it have the same feeling? I think in a sense it does because obviously you know even as a child. Your focus was on food, but we had to say what we were thankful for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you thankful for? You know what I mean? And so you had to do the work as a child to find out what you're thankful for. You know what I mean? Um, um, obviously, as an adult, you know, knowing your story and your process, I think that thankfulness, like you said, it's probably more elaborate. It's more detailed. Um so I think on one level it's the same but it's definitely different you know what I mean like on one level being thankful is being thankful right um but then obviously as an adult like you said like with the experiences that that you have um and then also I guess just having the opportunity maybe to model what you saw growing up you know what I mean like it's not guaranteed that you could host a Thanksgiving or go to a Thanksgiving you know what I'm saying or 
you know, be in a position to prepare food, you know what I mean? Or be in a, prepare for, be in a position to tell your family, hey, come to my house, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, obviously, you know, like, like we said, the responsibility and the position at another level of thankfulness, you know what I mean? So, you know, I think, you know, the feeling in terms of being thankful, like, it, it is the same, but it, it's, it's, it's more elaborate it's more adult it's more mature you know what i'm saying like right and i think that's that's a great word it's more mature um because as a child you know you're kind of made to say Mm -hmm. what you're thankful for so you're you know i mean there's some children that are very insightful and very sensitive you know and Mm -hmm. know exactly but then there's some of us me that you know as a child you're just kind of running it off like oh yeah i'm thankful for my family i'm thankful you know and it's it's you are you know but i think the mature you now is really saying yo i'm i'm really thankful Mm -hmm. you know like for you know what god has provided you know and um the the spiritual aspect of it because Mm -hmm. i think that's that's what's different i guess for me different and like you said same but different you Mm -hmm. know Mm -hmm. like i grew up you know going to church and knowing about god and but it wasn't until my adult years when i started having a personal relationship with him so in that regard it it feels it's different it's more meaningful yeah you know yeah no i agree i agree with that um I agree with that. I agree with that. So we're gonna um we're gonna I, I want us to hop into obviously sharing some scripture about giving thanks, you know what I mean, and just kinda elaborate on that. But before I do that, quick question. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you think that you know, because obviously I watch our daughter, you know, Princess Eliana, <laughs> and I watch I watch her cousins, you know what I'm saying, all her cousins when they all get together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So this, 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 this is just a side question, right? Could the kids today survive our Thanksgiving that we had? Like, would they know what to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's no Wi-Fi. There's <laughs> no tablets. Like, just off rip, like, what do you think? Would, would, they be, would they be able to survive what we had to go through for Thanksgiving? I think some could okay, okay. you know um the ones that are creative you know the the, the our creatives mm-hmm. you know i think they would be able to survive mm. um and hopefully they would be able to bring in the ones that are you know aren't as creative or you know don't really have uh, an imagination right. so to speak you know because we didn't have the devices that they have today. Right, you know, right. you had to make up everything. That's right. Like, we was you know? really in our, like, PS imagination. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, we did have Atari. Yeah, we, we didn't have we, a, a, No? No, th- uh, there wasn't a Atari. Like, okay. Well, yeah, there wasn't a Atari. ColecoVision? I mean, I you know my aunt myself. my aunt she had a Atari she wouldn't let us play oh sorry um but then when when we got Nintendo like you know what I'm saying okay Nintendo yeah but I'm that's what I'm saying they there were but 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 at grandma's know, house we we didn't have a game you know what I'm saying so it was just like you know what I mean like grandma house we had to like Mm-hmm. You know, we had maybe some toys, or you brought some toys, or somebody would be like, "Hey, look at this! They got a dinosaur in their pocket." You know right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you got T Rex? Like, oh, what, what we bring it? Like, oh, he got, I got He Man in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't you bring, bring your good toys though. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you listen, listen. Okay, we never. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I think, I think they could. You know, yeah. um, it's, it's funny because when you know our daughter was uh with her two cousins the other day you know um one of her grandmothers was like no y'all not y'all not playing y'all devices right 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 you yeah. gonna right you gonna play and, and she survived and she survived it right okay so so maybe maybe we gotta enforce some old school 
Thanksgiving values. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, no Wi Fi. Turn the Wi Fi off. All like, right, yo, I'm going to challenge I- everybody. Next Thanksgiving, invite, if you hosting at your house, turn the Wi Fi off. Listen. Because not only is that going to affect the kids, that's going to affect the adults. I was just going to say that might be a little complicated, <laughs> right? Because we know right. how we are with our devices. Right, and... us too. Yo, but no, I, I've actually seen people do that, though. Like, when they go out to dinner, it's like, yo, everybody puts their phone in the middle of the table. And turn it down, turn it over. Right. right? Yep. And like, yeah. like we're going we gonna to connect, all right? But all right, cool. So listen, we're gonna play another track, and then we're gonna get into some scripture. Uh, you're listening to "To Be Determined" right here on Speak Life Radio. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we back. Yeah, we back. We back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You're listening to 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 Be Determined. It's your host, Lawrence Coles. To my right, we have... I need to really think about my host name. Okay. But, yeah, it's your girl, Vanessa. You said, I already named you Vanessa Seri, but you might not. I mean, you could. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, you could find a name, you know what okay. I mean? Okay. I mean, you got a lot of names. You got a lot of, you got a lot of names, you know what I'm saying? You could be Beauty. <laughs> could be, uh. That's so interesting. Like, I wonder how many delightful. nicknames <laughs> <laughs> we had, like, as a kid growing up. Oh, man, we had, I mean, I, mean, I had a lot of nicknames. I had some traumatizing nicknames. Mm. I'm, I can't even go into it because I'm sorry, but I, I'm gonna air <laughs> out my aunts and uncles one day. Like I can't wait till this audience grows and we get like a million people listening. I'm airing them out. My aunt, my all my uncles, everything they put me through. I'm gonna air them out. It man. made you stronger. It made, yes, it did. But then you it's know, good. like people, people might need to be held accountable too. <laughs> People that need to be held accountable. You know what I mean? Yo. <laughs> did you have to throw me that far? What's up, man? 30 years later. What's up? Was that necessary? <laughs> All right? Man, we was doing some stuff, man. With adult, um, what is it? Parental. <laughs> people, you know, adults was watching us. <laughs> we jumping off of roofs. Mm. My God. <laughs> My uncle like go, let's go. No parachutes. <laughs> but I mean, all right, that's a that's a talk for another day. But I right, well, look, he had a well. Go ahead. What something to catch y'all, right? A mattress, an old mattress. Okay, I mean the mattress it didn't. It could have not had springs in it. It <laughs> did. What are you talking about? That's what they was throwing it out. <laughs> so, what are you talking about? It did. What's wrong with you? It did not have nothing in it. All right, um. Let's talk about this. All right, yo. I mean, I think I, I think we kind of talked about it, but um, you know, our our closing out question in terms of like, yo, does Thanksgiving have any spiritual connection to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, does it does it move you spiritually anyway? Um, so let, let's 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 answer that real quick, and then we'll go into some of our scriptures. But like, spiritually, are you moved by Thanksgiving really? In all transparency. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say that there's something that I kind of uh, realized. And again, just thinking back and just was always wondering. Um, in my adult years, like, I always felt a little depressed. Okay. Around Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. and why around christmas it was just it's just a a feeling you know and um i would say that it's probably something that was um transferred okay 
you know, or something that, um, because of something I heard a family member say, and it was just like, hmm. But I also know that Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, tends to fall in the season of um, the time changes, right? Okay. So it's dark, you know, I mean, the, mm, you know, daylight, daylight right. So, and I think that also affected, affects mm, me. Okay. Because I love the summertime. I love the sun. I like, you know, it just gives me energy, but you know when we fall into this period of you know it gets dark early you know Mm. it tends to affect my mood so Mm. like i said in all transparency thanksgiving and you know i can even say christmas it's it's like a a kind of mood changer for me so to answer your question spiritually um i have to kind of think of the verses you like that <clears throat> that helps me mm-hmm. you know kind mm. of get out of that mood or whatever it is so i was speaking with a friend earlier and i said you know i have to be adamant about you know certain thoughts that come into my mind that you know it's like well who told you that you know mm. because i will hear something and then try to analyze it and then i'm going to a place and so I have to be adamant about, no, you know, this is not true and just kind of go to the word. Mm. So, like I said, I think spiritually, you know, it's just one of those things that um, that I have to do. OK. Yo, I mean, that's thank Thank you for sharing. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad for not knowing that. No, but no. Did I actually? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you? never tell me this nah but um but then too you know the whole cooking right aspect right, right. It, tends to help goes, oh it does help yes okay okay you know it tends to help me like i'm like okay you know it's something that i'm trying to accomplish yeah. and you know when i see the final product mm-hmm. it's like wow you know god you helped me through this you know mm. you know i did you know i did that not nah, yo your, and and i think that's i think that's Thank you for sharing that. Where's my crowd at? Thank you for sharing that. <clears throat> I think I think that's that's a very authentic, real perspective. And the reality is that a lot of people might have different triggers or things that might happen around the holidays mm-hmm. um, that might, you know, try to take them into a different place mentally. Mm-hmm. And so I think what you're outlining in terms of, okay, based on, you know, the, you know, the time of season, whatever, Mm -hmm. it could make you feel one way, but then you have to do the work to kind of combat that. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And so um, I think that's, that's a key insight for anybody who during the holidays, you know what I mean? Like if you feel whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like the holidays mean different things to different people you know what i mean it's mm-hmm. not always the most joyful time it's not always mm-hmm. the most happiest time depending on what is happening in your life you know what i mean mm-hmm. um so you can't depend on the season or the date to inspire happiness or to inspire joy like sometimes mm-hmm. you have to do like the work mm-hmm. to push yourself to get to a place where you can enjoy it um, or push your place push yourself to a place where it can be something mm-hmm. different than what it normally is you know what i mean and yeah. again like yo that takes work you know what i mean mm-hmm. um i would say for me like in terms of thanksgiving do i have a real spiritual connection like i don't i don't think so you know what i mean mm-hmm. again i feel like there is that element of giving thanks so it's always like all right i want to give thanks but then it's like I feel a little guilty because is this the only time I'm giving thanks? Like I should be giving thanks right. anyway. Like it shouldn't be one day mm-hmm. that I'm I'm on my thankful bus. Right. You know, giving thanks should be part of our regimen. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, again, not speaking against Thanksgiving because I think it's dope when all the family can get together and share. Mm-hmm. You know why? They, you know why they're thankful, but then there's also this element of 
Like, yo, Thanksgiving can't just be one day out of the year. Like, how do we create those moments for family? How do we create those moments of sharing? Um, how do we create those moments of expressing that thanks to each other mm-hmm. so that it's not just locked into one day because, mm-hmm. you know, Thanksgiving is not promised every year. So, you know, if anything, how do we make that, you know, continual? Or how do we make those values in Thanksgiving be a part of our, like, Mm-hmm, every weekly day. life, you know what I'm saying? If not yeah. daily, weekly, weekly as a family, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, like how do we do those things and not be tied into? All right, now it's Thanksgiving. Now we gotta muster up all of this mm-hmm. thankfulness for this one day, you know. And the reality is, we probably were focused on what we're gonna eat more than mm-hmm. what we're thankful for, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. So, like, how do we create that balance, you know, in that? Mm-hmm. So, again, like for me, I don't feel a, a huge spiritual connection to thanksgiving um you know but um but obviously it is a time designated where we all you know give thanks you know Mm -hmm, what i mean so mm -hmm. so yeah so i mean before we close out you know we definitely want to be you know leave some inspiring words and you know obviously during thanksgiving season like we you know as a faith-based christian family like we hop into scripture um so what's some scripture that kind of pops in your head as when we, when we talk about Thanksgiving? Um, I think the the scripture that popped into my head was just, and maybe it was because of the song, but it just says, Give thanks to the Lord, mm. for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Mm. For he is good. Yeah. His faithful love endures forever. Mm, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think for me, what popped into my head was a scripture that is so close to close to me, especially this summer with, with, with VBS that we hosted. Uh, where we taught mm. the kids this. Um, but I'm going in Psalms 100 verses 4 and 5. Mm. It says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving. And into and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Mm. Um and so again, just hearing this is like I remember, you know, it was like enter his, his gifts with Thanksgiving, like that's mad fool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's <laughs> like yo, that's that's a lot of food in my arms coming to his house. Um <laughs> But it's like, yo, you know, like when we talked about it with the kids and we talked about gates and courts and how people who have, you know, who are millionaires or people who are very wealthy, they have homes that, you know, it could be gated. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. then they'll have a home that has a courtyard. So before you even reach the actual house. There's levels that you're going to Mm -hmm. as you're being invited into this prestigious place, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, just painting the picture of, you know, entering into, you know, a wealthy person's house who loves you, you know what I'm saying? Who, Mm -hmm. for no reason of your own, has given you favor, Mm -hmm. has favor towards you, and they're inviting you into their home. And as soon as you enter into the gates, it's like it's it's, it's maids, it's waiters. I mean, it's just people there, excited to see you. Mm-hmm. And you know, I mean, you're coming from a two bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like just barely making it. But yet, mm-hmm. when you come into this place, like yo, you're gonna feel a level of like thankfulness. Like yo, like yeah, you know what I mean? Like uh, you know, especially if that person has something for you. You know what I mean? It's like yo, and, and you know that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. So again, I mean, just you know, just entering into his gates with thanksgiving, uh, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like for the Lord is good; his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures forever. And so, again, like that that scripture comes to mind, and just about you know entering into God's presence, entering into a place to be invited into, mm-hmm. and just thanksgiving, not just being full, but like yo, really being thankful you know what i'm saying really appreciating what it is mm-hmm. really speaking well of him because of his mercy because of his love you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying for he's good like all of these great things about this person and i'm being invited into a space that i don't belong belong in mm-hmm. um it does evoke 
like some emotion it does evoke feelings it does evoke um you know you know our, our spirituality in a way is like wow like god is really um he really loves us you know what i mean mm-hmm. and so um so yeah yeah and this love just it continues mm. to exist you know it says forever mm. you know with that word that was just kind of jumping out to me was endure you mm. know he is with us you know and it continues and um i don't know i hope i'm not saying this wrong but i i heard someone say you know the key to happiness is just being thankful mm. you know and so i hope i didn't you know say no, it the wrong no, word that's but good. i mean you, you, you said i, I like that you know yeah I mean? like, the happiness i mean we know happiness is temporary right but um but just being thankful mm-hmm. you know just for the little things that we we tend to take for granted mm. you know um and understanding that you know uh it's his love mm. you know it's his love that surrounds us it's his love that's in us um and it 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 endures mm. so i i agree no, nah, that's a key word, indoors. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't run out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I right, yo, this has been the To Be Determined <laughs> podcast show. Extravaganza. We'll get back to you with the name. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's been uh, it's been great being here with you wonderful time thank you for having me thank you for having me no all right yo so um (laughs) hey listen we're a married couple here okay all right her toe is touching my toe okay what do you want me to do (laughs) she just touched my arm what do you want me to do okay (laughs) nah but yo yo y'all be blessed man we'll check y'all out um Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. All right, we'll check y'all out. Bye-bye. Bye. Great. Great soul. Great soul. Great vibe. Live radio. Stay cool.